everybody welcome back to my channel hope you guys are all doing well so i'm gonna keep the music down low for a little bit and i figured we go over some stuff so let's go over some stuff okay hashtag motivational monday so i'm just gonna pull this up on screen make it big people for will forget what you said really people will forget what you did we haven't yet but people will, n will never forget how you made them feel. Hashtag Motivational Monday. What's happening in a, in a week or so? Um, on the 24th of July, convention will begin for paparazzi and their consultants. Two years ago, paparazzi held a convention called Celebrate. And it was during that Celebrate convention, during the height of a pandemic, during the Delta variant, mind you, that they held a convention with over 22,000 tickets sold. 22,000 tickets, you guys. That's a lot of tickets. That's a lot of people. And news came out after the fact that some of the uh, home office employees tested positive and went to convention and commingled with people. Did they wear a mask? I don't know. But there's a lot of pictures showing that people who were at that convention did not wear a mask. And then people who were participants of that very same thing came home, got sick, and unalived. Over 20. Okay? So people will forget what you said. Paparazzi, I don't think people forget the fact that you told people not to talk about it. You told people not to disparage it. You told people to brush it under the rug. So people haven't forgotten that. I certainly haven't. People will forget what you did. People haven't forgotten what you did, paparazzi. They haven't forgotten that you deleted these people from your website, uh, pretended that they didn't exist, you failed to acknowledge that they were even a part of your company. And then, uh, a little bit later that year, on December 16th, 2021, you quietly removed from your website lead and nickel free claims. So people haven't forgotten that either. In fact, you have a class action lawsuit filed against you. And then the insurance company that was hired or that was representing you during that time has recently filed suit against you to not be held liable should you be found guilty okay so people will never forget how you made them feel i know of 1347 women and men and former customers who have not forgotten how you made them feel. Some of these people were treated poorly by their upline elite. Some of them were treated poorly by compliance. Some of them were just treated poorly on the whole. So yeah, they haven't forgotten that. And I've encouraged and, in, and made it uh, very known that I want them to use their voice and share their why as to why they quit why they were canceled, why they stopped shopping, why, 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 why. I want to know their why. I want the world to know their why. And the more whys that are out there against what this company has done and how they have represented themselves is way more important than the why you should join. Why this opportunity is so great. Why, 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 why. So that was... Uh, that was your Motivational Monday. So let's go to the Paparazzi Accessories page, shall we? Whether you're joining us in person or following along at home, you can follow us on social media. Here's the other thing, Paparazzi. If you're so concerned about people staying indoctrinated into your stupid multi-level marketing company, why don't you have a virtual option? It can be done. You did it in 2020. Why can't you do it now? Is it really that hard? No. 
So, again, why can't you offer that option for people who want to go and be a part of convention but can't afford to go because of other obligations like medical bills or they're immune compromised or they're disabled and they can't travel that far without assistance and it's too expensive to bring the assistance with them. Hmm. But I love how all of your stupid countdown numbers have pieces of paparazzi jewelry in the numbers. I mean, look at all these beads. These are all the broken pieces that came back to corporate office. And now we just put them in here to make it a decorative thing. And then apparently life of the party dropped. And that's a life of the party piece. Ooh, ah, it's a hingy bracelet. And then a pyramid-shaped gold necklace. Ooh, ah. And then some sort of iridescent ring. Ooh, ooh, ah. And then... That was a sneak peek, but they're still available. And that tone-on-tone -tone piece is still available. That's another Life of the Party piece that you can easily get on Timu Ni Hao Sheen. I've seen them. They may not be in that exact same color, but you can get them there. Okay. Oh, look, we have the fuchsia pink beads. Ten days. And then here's the last piece of Life of the Crappy. It's enamel paint. Ooh, ah. So cute. It's so fun. Blech. All right, so I'm going to pull up something because uh, I think it's important that we see these things. So give me a second because i got to pull it up. So you guys have been sharing with me uh, some videos. So I'm going to pull this up. This is a video that was sent to me. This is someone's bling room. She has a fried egg piece still on her wall, but look at this, you guys. All right, I'm just going to pause right here for a second. Okay. The walls of debt in this room. Just the, the overwhelming amount of debt in this room. So we have uh, shelves, bins, pegboards jewelry on those pegboards, jewelry all over the desk, a bust, uh, things that she's apparently sorting through. We'll keep going. Computer and all the stuff on this desk is just, I'm sorting through braces, bracelets. Then behind me going live is, I have these cases. So again, she's going live to uh, clean out the board. She's probably doing the winner's challenge. But I'm on my way to church this morning, so this is just a cart when I go live. Those are the baskets I use. Okay, so my hope is that when she goes live, she has that many customers. And that she fills up those bins with sales. And that the people who claim those items actually pay their invoices. Um, it's a nice little cart, but again, that's a lot of money invested into that cart. She's been in this apparently two years. Again, the wall over here, <coughs> some more bracelets, and wow. my longest eye necklace. And I have another garment rack, and this is mainly where I put new stuff or whatever. <laughs> but this is my room. It's a little messy, but this is it. I'm only two years in. So yeah. I'm still learning, and um, yeah, I look always changing up. So again, this is my room. All right, so two years in, and a room of debt. Um, I don't know who this person is. I I don't have any clue, but she is two years in, and she has all of that invested into her business, okay? Um, what concerns me about that is this. Um, has she made any money? Does she have a team? If she hasn't made any money, how much has she lost? Uh, these are legitimate questions that I would really love to know the answers to that I'm probably never going to get the answers to. But they're legitimate questions. She's been in it for two years. 
two years. And that's how much she's accumulated and she's taken over an entire room in her home. That's sad. Oh, and look, we have new paparazzi sunglasses. Ooh. And you can buy these at the paparazzi boutique. Ooh. Are you going to have socks again this year or minky blankies? Probably. And I called it, you guys. Uh, the Z collection is going to go to the vault. You better start stocking up now. And I believe we watched this one already. It's from four days ago. She's wearing a stupid pair of overalls. Yeah, we've watched this one already, so we're not going to watch it again. All right. So we're going to go to the paparazzi jewelry tab. Now we're getting slam and sparkle and blue. Ooh, ah. Oh, so cute. So fun. Not really. And then we've got a guy's bracelet with braids. Ooh, ooh, ah. Uh. And then whatever that is looks terrible. More barrettes that are so stupid, childish, immature, and no adult woman should wear these. But again, they're targeted towards kids. And then those bombing imperfection illumination, they still haven't sold. And then, ooh, ah, hoop it up in silver. Wow. Those look like something that they've done before. Glitzy by Association is back in gold. It's back in stock. Ooh, ah. And then this ring, what rose around? This ring, you can't really tell what it looks like unless it's on a finger. And even with the frame like that, you know there's a stretchy back under there. And it looks too big for the model's finger. But it doesn't, I mean... Are there any rhinestones in it, or is it just carved? Yeah, it's all just carved. Yeah. I wouldn't want that, would you? And then we still have the men's ring, but notice this one. This is called Vine of Valor. This is a, a guy's ring. I think it's designed after Taylor Kirby's Bring Back piece. What do you guys think? Oh, I think so. So, and then we still have the not new but new pieces and then that's oh I saw this the other day and I was like okay they call this alluring antidote but doesn't that look like something you would get at the dollar store I mean seriously <laughs> it's a dollar store necklace called alluring antidote with included earrings that look cheap and askew I mean it's just, it's getting worse as time goes on. I mean, it's absolutely getting worse. And then I was watching a live the other day where um, the multi piece of this, um, she was selling this, and then two days later, that piece dropped. So it's like, did she know that this was going to come out in blue? So she needed to sell all of her multis because she was doing a lot of older pieces in different colors and different metals and then this week different metals and colors dropped so I thought it was really telling to me it told me that maybe she got a heads up as to what was going to be dropped that week because she was an elite and then this came out in white I believe yeah there it is in white Ooh, ah. but um None of it just looks appealing at all. I mean, I, does it look appealing to you? Don't think so. All right, you guys, I want to give a special thank you to my members and everyone who comes to the live shows when I go live. And most of the time when I go live, it's impromptu, it's sporadic, and there's no schedule involved. I just go live and I tell you on the Facebook group that I'm going live. So if you haven't clicked the bell for notify me, please do that. Um, hopefully it'll work. But uh, beyond that, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, I will do another video and record it so when new releases drop, we can do the, the funny piano music and watch from then. All right. Have a great day, guys. Bye.